Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're now looking at masking and for this video it's about how it works with adjustment layers. So let's take this picture here and say we want to do some adjustment on this flower and uh, I take the selection brush here and make sure I'm using add and snap to edges and I can paint around this and there's a fairly high contrast around this so it will select the flower pretty quickly. There we go, didn't need much playing around there. <clears throat> so, all I need to do now, if I want to create a mask for this, I would simply click on the mask layer here. I can do exactly the same thing by clicking on adjustments here. And if I say I want curves, then the curves comes with an automatic mask built into it. So in other words, when you start off an adjustment and it's the same with the filters here, exactly the same, you know, the same as you get up here with layers, new adjustment layer, a new light filter layer, exactly the same thing, just either side of it. And what happens is here, you can see this here, whilst I've got this layer now, I can adjust this and it only adjusts the area that I've selected. But I can also deselect now, take the selection off and it will still adjust that and that's because it's got a mask built into this so all adjustments have got masks built in. See it starts off white but here if I alt click that to see it there we go that's the area selected and when I clicked on create the adjustment layer it automatically took the selection and made it into a mask so I was selecting just that, that flower. So this is something you also need to be careful of because you can sometimes do this accidentally because you think, oh, I'll just add a mask here, and you've just got a little bit of something selected, and you, the mask doesn't seem to, so the adjustment doesn't seem to work, and it's because it's only coming up in that area. So when that happens, watch this little icon here, because it'll show you where the mask is. So you've got some black areas on that. That's going to happen there. So that's pretty much how that works. Let's go back to, to this one here. Um, just an, uh, an addition to this is if I want to do another adjustment now, look, I've lost my selection here. So I need to get the selection back. And the way to do that is to go to layer, uh, sorry, select and selection from layer with the curves layer adjusted and back comes my selection. So in other words, it's taken this mask here and it's recreated that selection there. Now I click on the main one again, and so now if I go and say I put in an HSL layer, see now the mask comes up again, and I'm going to bring this up here, here we go. Now I could change the colour, and I can also again, Control D, turn off the selection, but I can now move this up and down because the mask is in it, and I can change the colour of the flower. So it's, remember the flower started off kind of magenta, there's the magenta area over there, so I want to make it blue, I want to put blue underneath. So I'll drag this across, and there you go, there's the blue underneath the, the magenta, so creating that blue, light blue, because there's a lot of lightness in it. So there we go, the very simple way of making a mask on a, a an adjustment, so that you just constrain the adjustment to a certain area, so you make the selection first, and then just create your mask, uh, your, your adjustment and your the mask comes free with it. Okay, that's enough for now and I hope you enjoyed that and thank you very much for watching.